Yeah, the hard thing is we focus a lot on the stress. But we stress ourselves out also eh, with accumulating uh, material and stress. And that's the stress it causes. Eh? The, the material things will cause you a lot of stress because you got to maintain that stuff. Yeah, you got to maintain that stuff. And if you're not, uh, if for you, uh, you live at credit on credit and stuff, it's going to be lots of headache. Lots of headache. Because the more material you have, the more material you want. Why people go and acquire big houses and and they're always living living in their houses. They're not going out too much. It's like a big box. Me, I think the smaller house you have, the smaller the house, the more outside you are. The more outside you're gonna go. Now. The more you can be in touch with reality. I'll never have a big house anyway. I would find it too uh, too much to maintain, too much energy to maintain. Also, that's what I see. People buy houses, and then their whole time is consecrated to maintaining that house just for the look, just for the way it looks for people when they pass by. You know, it's so important the way we look to others. So we make sure our lawn is nice, we make sure everything is nice. Everything is just for the look. You know, it's always just for the look. We do a lot of stuff just for the look. Most of the stuff we do is to impress people we don't even know. You know, that's what we do a lot. We do a lot of things to impress people. Yeah. I have all kinds of pear stuck in my teeth. Sorry. But there's not much people that watches my video, so... I don't really care that two, three people see me hit them. Even if there would be a million. I don't care. It's natural, that's what we gotta be natural. Enough the fakery, enough the putting white gloves and the being all uh, perfect. And it's not about being perfect anyway. I'm not perfect and my body's perfect, crafted to perfection, but the soul has not reached uh, perfection and I don't think it's possible. It's a constant struggle with yourself. Constant struggle with you. It's you against you. They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't. The truth doesn't care about you. It's you against you. It's you that have to live up to that truth. That truth within you. So it's you within you. It's you versus you. But many people see that as them versus the world. And then they're, they're, they're in rebellion against the world. And against the government. And against the police. And Non-cooperation may be the best. But non-cooperation can bring you into trouble too. I think it's more uh, do your thing. Do your thing. Make sure you don't fall into their madness. Don't fall into their traps, eh? because Babylon has a lot of traps set for us to fall in. So we gotta make sure we stay conscious, we stay pure and clean, with love, on the side of love, not arming anything, and Babylon will not bother us. Eh? Babylon will bother you if you're wild, if you're uh, a criminal, uh, whatever you are, eh? like doing bad things to other people. They will bother you. They love that. That's how their system run, with laws and regulations and all that to restrict people. And there's more and more nonsense, more people being arrested for stupid things. I saw something the other day, a bunch of uh, Amerindian, uh, Indian people up north somewhere in Quebec and someone from the Pêche et Faune, uh, Protection de la Faune. Green bottoms that protect the forest and that. Police, forest police. Eh? They came and uh, took their fish away. To call their fish away, their fish was cooking for a big festival. And they came and took all the fish. They want to break people, they want to break them. And the system is designed that way. It's not because the policemen suddenly 
decided to be an ass and go there and collect everything is the system is designed that way the man that does that sees no wrong he doesn't see no wrong with what he does he thinks he, he does that out of good art to help nature that's what they think but these Indian people that's what they always been doing eat fish from the river to survive and you go there and you you break their tradition their culture their uh, their ways of living completely wrong completely wrong but they don't see that they don't see the living person they don't see the living being they just see uh, that they have to apply the law their order followers their robots but they don't see nothing wrong with what they do with what they do because that's what they've been told to do and that's what they they've been told that it was the right thing to do protect this protect that but during that time they're emptying the ocean with big mega huge nets and that's okay nobody goes after them but they come after my son here trying to play with a fishing rod on the side of the river because someone else also called on them you know someone called them to say that they're you know we police each other so much that that's so much nonsense and during that time the whole world is gone crazy pedophile all over and that's okay no one says nothing we become spectator when it's time to heckler when it's time to heckler we all become spectator and none not too many too many of us will uh, face the action and all this it's uh, we'll go into action and uh, anyway don't be like everyone else you don't have to be like everyone else if you're lucky enough, if you're fortunate enough to be different from others, to, to have a different state of mind, seeing things differently than others, stay that way, express it to the world. The whole world is, in, is on it, under its nose. The whole world is under its nose. If you have something to say, say it. We're just waiting for you to talk. We're just waiting for you to hear what you have to say. We're just waiting for you to move out of its nose what the world need we don't need hypnotic people people that follow orders and are hypnotized by the system hypnotized by the lie we need people that can live truth see truth and live truth and speak truth you know anyway once you live it everything will be will be in accordance with the truth you will not uh, and you don't have to worry about remembering anything because you speak the truth. So you don't have, I don't have to remember anything. Yeah? I can go anywhere, anytime. I don't need to have anything prepared. I know, I know what I'm bringing. I know, I look, all the preparation I have, for sure, uh, bring anything. And uh, I'm in, I'm prepared. I'm out.